So when you're out doing a uterine spa or a, a JJ steam, you want to make sure that you are quite completely covered all the way around so there's no air getting out, so you're not getting any drafts, so you're not getting cold. I actually like to put a hot water bottle on my feet so my feet stay warm. Um, and if you want to, you can get a nice book and you can do it for like, you know, 20 minutes doing, you know, reading or just meditating. Um, just to have some quiet time for yourself as your vaginal, as well as your uterus and all your you know, organs are being nice and nurtured by this steam. Um, I will give you all the benefits um, <clears throat> of the uterine spa um, at the end and also the precautions of when not to do the V steam or the uterine spa. So I'm not gonna be filming myself doing the V steam for the whole 20 minutes. Um, some people may wanna do it for longer depending on what their conditions are. And if you have severe conditions such as endometriosis, you may wanna do it a little bit longer. Maybe do it for you know half an hour, but be very, very conscious. Be very, very aware that um, you are not uh, going to burn yourself. So I have the crock pot set on high and I put some boiling hot water with the herbs. Um, I let it steep for about five to 10 minutes. And then, but if it gets too hot, there's always the manual cooling down system where you can just air out the sides and um, with the little skirt that is covering the seat that you can open up and air out a little bit too. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and um, have my steam. I don't know how I'm going to turn off the camera. <laughs> I used to have an automatic thing, but I don't know what that is. So um, I know what I can do. I can sing the Michelle Farm song that we sing. Hmm. Quiero mi cuerpo, agua mi sangre, viento mi aire, juega mi espíritu. Quiero mi cuerpo, agua mi sangre, viento mi aire. Fuego mi